Right, we are uh, done all these bits, filled it. So we, Chris is using his new jet wash look. Right, chuck of that, good bit of kit. What was it, 25 quid? Like that, yeah. 26. Off Amazon. Great. It's not very powerful, but it's, it's, it's enough, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's enough. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, we jet washed all that. Look, come out really well. Yeah, I've yeah. just got to wait for all this to dry. A little bit more filling on that. A little bit more on that where we got knocked, and then we're gonna paint all that blue into all that black. I'll also just give the hit a go on here look to get the green off so we've done that with a pressure washer and then just scrubbed it so I'll see how that dries out blacking it's going on worked well getting that long handled um, roller didn't it yeah it happened to look better it's like when we had it done at Langley Mill job Vicky did of it. Still got another 59 foot to do. <laughs> right, I'm off to paint some other bits now. Right, what about this then, look? Still got a little bit we can't just quite reach to finish. It's looking good, isn't it? I'll chuff with that for a pair of amateurs. That's had its first coat as well. That's a nice job being ticked off the list that I've been thinking about for two years. And we've just touched up those with the blue look where we've done all the rust treatment and everything. So we're just debating whether we're actually going to paint it all or not because it looks okay once it's had another coat. Oh, Chris has... Has it gone on it? All right, Chris just run up, gone up there, look, because uh, the cratch cover started tipping onto where we've done the blacking. Anyway, right, here we go. Start to finish. All the rust spots, the where the uh, we got rammed, that's all been filled. Can't even see where that is now. Filled and painted and everything. All these bits that were quite bad. Again, they need another coat look, but we're happy with that, aren't we? It's not a bad job at all. Sunday morning we've had our 48 hours at these wonderful moorings in Campbell Park. Very nice. Very nice area. Apparently there's a car park there where you can leave your car so and one on the other side of the towpath as well. Yeah so if you want to park apparently it's really easy. You can see there where I've repainted all the handrail that's all done and just started on these bits look so that's all I had a couple of coats and then we need to put the foam back on there for us flood defense all this will be done when we're probably in the marina now really it's quite a big job to finish the stern but if you look at that side versus that side so hopefully in the next week we'll get to paint that. If the weather gods are kind to us, we shall see. 
morning. We are having a nice, hopefully nice, Sunday morning cruise to Cosgrove, which is about two hours, is it? Some, like something three, like that. Three for us. Shh, yeah, three for us. Shouldn't be any locks unless we go through, because we can't well, we'll get the facility. We'll go through that one today? No. As usual. Neither of us know what's happening. Oh yeah, it's a kitchen sink. Yeah, so plan to go to Cosgrove and then over the next week we're possibly going to aim for Braunston. Um, my canal book manuscript has been edited, well, in the process of editing. Oh, we've gone under a bridge, sorry about the light. And a friend of mine, Bonnie, is very kindly going to um, pick it up and bring it to me. So we're going to aim for Braunston. That's a plan today, but you know how these things change. Changeable weather due next week, so I don't know how much painting will get done. We'll have to see, won't we? Right, you may or may not need your windlass. We've had um, a bit of rain this morning, a few showers. We managed to get on here. We're not staying here, just uh, the facilities are just in that building. So rubbish and the L-San, etc. Filling up with water. Tesco's is about two second walk up there. So we've got um, essential items. And then we're going to carry on. So we might not have to do the lock today because we won't need the facilities at Cosgrove. We managed to get in here. So we're coming up to the place where we moored in May when we stopped here for Chris's birthday and hired a car. Yeah, not far off now where we're moored. Yeah, we're just saying now um, it feels strange again to be coming back. I keep feeling like we've got to give the boat back. What were you just saying? Well, it's nice to come back the way you came. The reverse journey it gives you a sense of completion like you've mm. you've really done the journey done it all and, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And immerse yourself in all of yeah. it yeah yeah i like it back there london
than 28 miles up. That's where we're aiming for over the next week. to get moored up just past the iron aqueduct and it started raining up so we are going to settle down I'm gonna do some editing watch some MotoGP and probably have a Sunday dinner later We had a nice day yesterday, getting all the boat jobs done, didn't we? Yeah. Done well, haven't we? Mm. Happy with what we've done. And we are now, there's lots of geese here, I bet it'll be uh, noisy, more in here. We've just, there, yeah, we've just come round the corner through uh, Crossgrove Lock up there. Using the facilities, filling up with some water because we didn't get much the other day. None of these seem to have very good pressure, so we thought we'd fill up again. And then we're hoping that the rain holds off for us today, but it's changeable that time of year. So we shall see. Just set off as we were getting ready to go, the heavens have opened up. So I've decided to do some very important work inside while the captain is looking after the boat. <laughs> Hanging <laughs> about. Oh dear, there's some kind of log or something. I'm not going out to film it though. I think we're in for this for the day. Sunshine and showers. Sunflowers in there, love, love, love. We very nearly stopped here because we've got lovely arm co. Look at that view. But there's um a boat there and a tree overhanging so it might be difficult for boats to get past so we're carrying on just a little bit further Just gone past the sheep. See in the front. There are neighbours. No, let's go and have a look. Just st still having us coffee. Look at this view. We've got. Might have to tighten that a bit more. I think. Boat wow. Is about, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Right. What you got to show us? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. <laughs> A bit of jungle. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting thing to uh, have attached to the bow. That'll clear off now. Just pulling the boat back in a bit more. After having all that weed around the bow, 
just going to have a quick nose in here. You said you thought. Well, it just felt a bit wobbly, yeah. So it's going to. Nice and clear, look. It's going to be gold. show you from there, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, these, th to be honest, this is yeah, what yeah. does it, you know. There's a little bit on there then. It's yeah, it's enough. Getting that out, it? It's enough to throw it out of balance a yeah. bit, I think. Looks like radioactive water right. from here, doesn't it? Sorry to say that as you put your yeah. arm in there. <laughs> You know what? It's cold, you're not. <laughs> I thought it would be. That it? Yeah. That was what was doing it. You mm. can tell. Yeah. You can just feel it in the tiller arm. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're going to have to sun that down and paint it, look. Yeah, that's another like winter a job. Weird limpity thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's always a job. Yeah, most of them involve an angle grinder. <laughs> well, it's a good job we stopped, look. Just been up to check the temporary water defences, which are not really holding up that well. See if I can direct it down there a bit, look. We haven't put the foam back on because we've painted that again. Oh, I better put that foam back on. It's just about directing it, but not as well as the foam does. Oh, there's a rainbow. Can you see it? Just in the distance. Thought there'd be one. Try and get it a bit better in a minute. The engine bay lot. All oh, that's got to be painted, as we know. Just had a little wander. Up the towpath to see if I could get the rainbow, but it's just disappeared. Just missed it. Love these kind of days, all nice and cozy after his morning cruise, doing some editing. Lovely light, isn't it, though, this time of year? Look at all these, I think they're crab apples, aren't they? Loads of them. Isn't that beautiful? It's time to get the wellies out soon. Got all the water dropping down. And the trees. Chimney smoking. Morning. It is Wednesday today. Yep. Cheers. Coffee time. We are cruising to Stoke. Brewing locks today. So I think is there about seven of them? Yeah, it's a bit of a flight, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know if there'll be any lockers to help. Sometimes there is, but we don't mind doing them on our own. Yeah, so you definitely need your windlass today. We're possibly gonna moor at the top of the locks if we can. And then we can go to the museum if that's open. But yeah. It's a little bit cloudy, but hopefully no rain today. In a bit. Right, we're just coming into the um, lock landing. Stoke Brewing Locks. I think there's possibly some CRT volunteers on there. I'm going to go up and check. You can see an orange jacket. Someone's left the rope right down there, look. Oh, whose fault's that then? <laughs> right, 
right we've done five locks I haven't had a chance to film much because we're going with a couple in front on their boat and um, there's been lockies helping which has been very good and now we've got two more locks and then hopefully we'll get a more in before the tunnel Business. Got back to the boat before all this happens. 